Hey guys, it is day six in our country home and we have made some major progress today. We have a big mess to clean up and I'm gonna show you guys what we have been working on. So I thought I would start here in the living room. Um, we are gonna actually begin to clean out the dust and paint the trim probably starting tomorrow evening. Um, we are actually gonna take the quarter round off the walls and um, replace them, but the trim we're gonna save and I love the chunky trim and I've got a color I'll show you guys um, probably tomorrow of what that's gonna be. So we need to prep this room for paint. There's a place we need to patch on the wall. We're gonna remove all the hooks and everything. The light fixture is going to be replaced and the ceiling's gonna be painted. So we're um, going to put some plastic around the doorways here to protect this room, but we're actually gonna start getting the walls ready here in this room. As you guys can see, we actually started to remove our kitchen cabinets from the kitchen, and I'm gonna take you in there in just a minute. Um, we didn't have all the proper tools for some of the appliances, so some of the appliances um, we need to still remove, and we have um, quite a bit of trash that we need to get out of the house. Uh, we did get all of the foam that was stuck to the guest bedroom and the master bedroom floor. Um, as you guys can see, there is still some glue stuck down, but that will be sanded off. Um, but it definitely smells better, feels better, um, getting this all off the floor, including even in the closet. So this closet here is the closet. Um, we are actually leaning to possibly put a toilet and a sink in, still trying to think about that. I don't think the lights work in here, but kind of the cool old features of the home is here is some measurements of people as they were growing up. Um, I don't know if it has a date, fifth grade. There you go, fifth grade bar. So we also have that in another closet and I'll show you guys in a minute. And then over here is another name. So I love to see old features of like what people did in a home long ago. So that's one of the cool features of this home. Okay, back into the living room. Um, <clears throat> as you guys can see, looking into the dining room slash kitchen, we have removed the wall and I am already loving it. Um, one of the things that we, this is looking into the dining room, which is here, and then it's all been opened up. We have just a little bit more of wall we need to take down, opening up into the kitchen. And I love this because already the kitchen doesn't look so closed off and so dark. We're removing all of the kitchen cabinets. Um, let's pardon the mess. We're removing all of the kitchen cabinets. Um, we're actually going to um, see if someone wants them um, just because they're good cabinets, they're just not gonna work for us. Um, we, the oven, we're just gonna get rid of and then the stove top, we may try um, and see if anybody wants that. The sink as well, but we're pretty much gutting the kitchen. Um, what I love is that this kitchen is gonna be so much brighter once we get the brown paneling off the top of the cabinets, as well as removing the brown cabinets. Now, as you guys can see, a little history, they had at one point some wallpaper all the way up. So at one point, this was a remodeled kitchen. Um, it had the yellow tile and stuff. So just kind of a fun piece of history to discover. Apparently they were doing measurements on that wall there. And then this is the archway that leads into, there's a pantry right in here we're gonna use for kitchen and then into the bathroom. So we still have some work to do, but here it is looking into the dining room and it's just such a difference. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get all of this stuff cleared out tomorrow so that we can really see a difference in this. So we do have, um, I'm pretty sure the light is not on because we have most of the power off. Yep, this is the pantry. We're gonna plan is to replace all of the shelves. There's even shelves behind the door. May even opt to remove the door and then this is just an open pantry. Or we may put up just a small sliding barn door right here so we can easily access and have all of our food stored in here and things like that. The kitchen plan, everybody wants to know what is the kitchen plan? So I have started sketching it out. Um, we are going to have a full-size refrigerator on this side right here, then some cabinets on the low, all, uh, all um, lower cabinets. No upper cabinets will be in this kitchen. Um, we're going for a very farmhouse, open-styled kitchen. Um, I'm gonna call it my Dana design because 
Um, you know me, I like to do things a little bit differently than the norm. So we'll have a refrigerator right here off the back side of the porch. Um, the stove will be gone there, just cabinet space on the lower. We will have um, open shelving on this side as well as a little bit here by the window. Of course, cabinets carrying on a dishwasher and then we'll have a stove oven combination with a microwave vent. Um, and then a little bit more open, um, open shelves on that side. Um, I love it because I can go open shelves almost all the way to the ceiling, which will definitely make the ce this room, once we remove the cabinets, remove the paneling above, this room is gonna look taller and more spacious than ever before just because it's gonna be all open on the top half. So the only half we'll have to do cabinets on is the bottom. And I do know a woodworker, so I think I'm in good hands. <laughs> and then over here, so, this is not our ideal kitchen, but it's gonna work for now. Our plan is to have a peninsula coming off the wall here and bar stools on this side that I'm on and then storage on the opposite side. Um, we're still trying to figure out, unfortunately, because none of this is drywall, it becomes a harder mess when you start removing things from the wall. So we're still trying to figure out what this will be. I wanna keep the archway door um, I had to do a little bit of convince, convincing the hubs tonight. But peninsula coming off here, and it will be all nice and open, and then dining room here. We'll keep the back porch door the same, and then I'm not sure, a beam all the way across just to kind of accent this. And then here in the bedroom, um, it's been cleaned up. I started to scrape off the glue. It was coming off really easily with my little razor blade, um, but we're gonna try and sand some of it tomorrow, and then we won't have to necessarily worry about it anymore. But um, I can tell you having this little guy in the house, the smell of an old home, slash a little bit of pea stains and things like that, the smell is um, becoming much, much better. So um, in the bedroom, same thing, we'll probably start painting soon. Um, we are gonna paint the ceiling it has wallpaper, I know. We're gonna change out the light with a ceiling fan. Um, we also have in here a closet, which is fairly deep. Um, closets are another thing that we're still trying to work out um, because we also have a closet in here. And at first I thought this would be a good half bath, but I think it's too narrow. You guys can see I just don't know if this is gonna work so this may become one closet for like me and the other closet might be the closet for Mike I'm just not sure my husband um, so we'll have to figure that part out but we're getting there we are getting there and I'm really really excited about this I will try and share a couple of screenshots um, of pictures of just kind of my hand-drawn vision of the kitchen um, it's going to be a little bit farmhouse, a little bit modern, a little bit traditional, a little bit of everything, probably all mixed into one. The last thing that we're going to do once we get the cabinets out is the flooring in the kitchen. Um, we have carpet, whoops, carpet in here right now. Underneath that is Luan. Under the Luan is, I don't know if you guys can see, a little bit of tile. There's the tile. And then here is the pine right here. I want to try and save the pine. It's not the oak that's in the rest of the house, but my hope is, is that we can save the pine and we're just going to keep it in the kitchen. So that's a little bit about what's going on today in the country. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe. I love that you guys are following my journey and I would love for you to share it with your friends and family. Um, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, go ahead and do that now because that will give you updates every time I post a video, which at this moment is every single day as we transform our country home into a home that we love to be at and share with you guys.